You guys, hello. Welcome back to Rome. Uh, Corey and Sean here on an Italy adventure. We're very pumped because today we're finally gonna have Roman, Italian, carbonara. We're gonna go to Cantina e Cucina today. It's a super highly rated Italian restaurant that serves some of the best in the city. So come along with us to see how much we like it, if we like it, if it's worth your time when you come to Rome. It's my first experience with carbonara. I'm excited for it. Let's go. All right, so the Tonarello Carbonara, 1250 euro, egg, bacon, and this one's got artichokes. No. Yeah, we are. How are you? We're both gonna do the Tonarello Carbonara. Thank you so much. This is the bottle of water, and this is one cup, okay? Thank you. Grazie. All right, my first Pinot Grigio on the trip. Delightful. Bogaccia. Grazie. Prego. Two carbonara here. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Where you go? Looks okay. so good. Enjoy, yeah? Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's like definitely different than we've seen bread, like served too. Like I, even when I've had it at Italian restaurants, yeah, it's so good. I've never had it like that. That's awesome. How romantic! I gotta try this bread, Corey's Raven Yeah. You like it? How warm it is. And the flavor. So good. Flavor, crunch. So good. All right. Really good way to do focaccia. Mm hmm. Mm. I'm glad you guys can see both of us in these frames. We don't always get this. I'm out of room. Right? So it's got pecorino reggiano, a lot of black pepper, bacon, artichoke. All right, cheers. Mm. Got egg too. Egg too as well. I'm gonna try this bacon. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Creamy, salty, good texture with the bacon, and that little bit of the grittiness of like the, the cheese, like the other, that's so good. Yeah, I like the noodle too, it's like... What are you doing? We have a YouTube channel. Ah, we heard, YouTube. We heard this place and it's so okay. good. Salute a YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah, we, we do food videos and our fans want us to go to Italy, so we heard this has some of the best carbonara. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Everyone here is so nice. These noodles are like, you just, I feel like in America the noodles are so thin. Yes. And these are like, I, I like the texture of them, the thickness of them, consistency. Perfectly al dente, but like also like there's a chewiness to it. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. That's also the perfect amount of creaminess. It uh, really not is. Overly creamy, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Spot on. This is a good sized portion, too. Oh, yeah. So fantastic. Mm. What they say is true, you guys. The pasta in Italy is better than America. <laughs> Everything complements each other, too. The cheese, the sauce, the bacon, the noodles. It all comes together. Absolutely true. It's like me and you and a camera and the Sixers. You guys are the Italy. Carbonara in Italy. Yeah, that's a big part of it. Mm. Most of the popular Roman pastas are very simple. It's only like four things really, but it's just done so incredibly well. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to do cacio e pepe for you guys very soon, which is literally just cheese and black pepper. Mm -hmm. But it's supposed to be like incredible. A lot of times it's like stirred and kind of into this like an actual cheese like sphere. <laughs> yeah. The wheels. Yes. They take the wheel of cheese, they dig it out a little bit, they melt the inside of that bowl shape and the cheese gets all in there and then they pour the pasta in there and mix it all in that way. It's ridiculous. If you happen to have a family and come here and you have kids who are afraid of trying new things, it's kind of got like an Americanized menu with a lot of like, like you can get a burger and fries here. Yeah. So it's a safe place if you're traveling with your family to make sure they're gonna feel good. Absolutely, there's so many options, but it seems like they crush it. I mean, this place has just a vibe too, and the vibe is good. I think I got some really fun, good tunes here. I'm so happy. And getting to the bottom is best. All the creaminess kind of settles down there. Yeah. So you get some really good creamy bites at the end. You'd think with all the giant 
like four pulls that I was doing that I'd be beating Corey. This man can't be touched. Mm, mm, mm. I get America if you got two big entrees of, of pasta, a wine, a Coke, bread. It would be like 80, 70, 70 euro, 60 euro. After tax. 60 euros? And tip. And tip. Yeah. And tip. Oh, and with tips? Yeah. yeah. Then closer to 7 probably. We'll let you know what it is out the door here, but I'm going to guess it's under 40. Oh, yeah. I bet you will be. I'm saving a couple slices of these bread. After the pasta, get some of that creamy sauce. Scooped up. Oh, it's so salty in such a good way. Perfect balance. There's no like drippiness. It's not like it's like soupy or anything. It right. all like clings. I think that pasta water and also being a G, an expert cook, cooker, <laughs> chef, really all sticks to the noodles. I wonder if uh, me eating at twice the speed of you has anything to do with the fact that I waited 24 hours between meals. No big deal. Corey just fasted. Because we had the Lost episode. We had a Lost episode also last night. Live, the live uh, viewers know what we're talking about. If you've made it this far in the video too, last night we kind of, that's how we decided that Amalfi like at night wasn't for us because there wasn't a ton to do and we like wanted another, we wanted another six hours of like hanging out and it was dead. So we went to the only bar that said it was open till two and it was more of like a cafe that just had the lights dimmed. <laughs> that wasn't really far. And I, I ordered food because Corey also ordered food and then I ended up eating a, a double Smash Burger Juicy Lucy, which is hilarious. It's an oxymoron, right? It was the weirdest thing. Almost for the bit. I got a double smash burger Juicy Lucy that Corey pointed out from the menu, which is hilarious because a Juicy Lucy is every is the cheese jammed into the patty, which you need a thicker beef. So they had either <laughs> Juicy Lucy nor is it It's not as advertised. But then Corey ordered, and then they didn't have this thing, so he didn't eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, long story short is Corey wanted to eat, but couldn't. Tough luck. The bread with the sauce. Excellent. I'm definitely copying you, as I love to do, and doing this. <laughs> I really love like them using eggs in this too. Mm -hmm. This is the nucleus bite. This was where it all kind of came to. I'm properly full. Not overstuffed. I feel complete. <laughs> you feel complete. I'm feeling real completed. You seem like you really enjoyed your risotto. You look very contented, very satisfied. I'm very satisfied. The creaminess is so different than creaminess in America. Like, yeah, if you think of America would be like liquid. Yeah, like, and like, think of what fettuccine Alfredo is in like in America. This is like completely different. Yeah, it's of, not that. It's not that. Which I'm sure you gotta come here to say to get that satiation. Satiation. Didn't think I'd say that word today. And also, it might not be a word. I could eat, eat that every day. Done. Done. The Cory move. Wiping it around. Verdict. Great. All right, we'll break this down outside. We're gonna pay our bill. We'll see you in a second. Oh, God. Thank you. Um, it's a liquor digestive made in row and cappuccino uh, homemade cookies made with nuts. Oh, thank you. Thank Grazie. You. Tell me more. It's a sipper, she said, huh? A sipper, really? That's what I thought she said. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, okay. Amaretto? Yeah. I think that's what she said, right? Mm hmm. Mm. I love these. A little nut biscuit. Mm hmm. It's like a oh. It looks like a biscuit. Bites like a cookie. Yeah. A little sipper of this. Oh, that's nice. Sometimes being a YouTuber, although having no money, is great. <laughs> they brought out a second free shot and cookies for us. I think they were really excited that we made this YouTube video. <laughs> Yeah, we've got it! Yeah, 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 yeah. So good! Once it hits your lips, it's so good! <laughs>
Oh my god, you guys, what a meal. Okay. <laughs> Cantina e Cucina, what'd you think, Corey? Break it down. Oh Is this a must-stop? Was it pretty good? Was it average? Was it a skip? Um, I haven't had any carbonara in my life, but to me, based off of just this one first experience, that was a must-stop to me. It was really great pasta. The environment was incredible. Everything about the pasta dish, the noodles and how they were kicked, cooked and their thickness, and then the creaminess, and then the bacon on there. I thought it was all fantastic. And really just like the serving staff and the music and the atmosphere just took it to another level. I would 100% check that out. Not to mention, it's like down this little windy alley and stuff, so I yeah. just think that kind of stuff adds a little little fun to it. The food was obviously amazing. I'll just continue to comment on the fact that like, when you come here, you're probably looking for that exact experience. Like, you want to feel like you're being served by family almost. You want a great atmosphere. You want just like to be able to sit down and relax and enjoy, and like that was honestly like the perfect place to do that. Yeah. Like that's what I wanted. And not to mention, once again, I mean that carbonara was freaking insane. It was so good, and when you're in Rome, you have to get some, and that's a great place to do yeah. it. So I think, I think that's a must stop, honestly. I'd definitely give it a look. Ciao, I'll take one too. Ciao, ciao. Bye guys, bye. Thank you. Okay, so once again guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you to the fans for sending us to Italy. I know we've been saying it, but we appreciate it so much. And uh, more Italy videos to come. We're on the last little leg of our trip, but plenty more to come. So we love you guys. We'll see you very soon. Friggin' best, dude. You're the friggin' best. You guys were wondering about frozen pizzas in Italy? So check this out. They got a 26 by 38 gigantic margarita pizza for five euro. They've got more margarita pizza here for 5.50, 5.30. This just looks like a, <laughs> it's just a crust that's cooked. Mozzarella, these are like giant flatbread looking things for 2.90. So yeah. Hardest decision he's ever had to make in Italy. What three pack is he gonna get? That's right, beer comes in three packs. I have to get so many. <laughs> <Yeah>, nine! <laughs> Dude, being an alcoholic in Italy is way more difficult. Look at all these different three packs I gotta snag. It's ridiculous. <laughs>